All right, boys. Let's go. Riv Bank Reminiscence, the descendants of the Aurayans, the Aryans, known as the El Riup, settled by the Sphia River after generations of migration. What is this? The tide of steel. Machines took over production and granted people a new life. It is convenience, efficiency, as well as giant boilers and dense smog. Ashes of sorrow, long-term exposure to magic, copper would turn humans into violent creatures and rob them of sanity. Once infected, there's no cure. Orion undertow, gray rock, fire eyes, and iron dust are all Orion nations. Orion and nations, but they've witnessed more division and conflicts rather than peace and unity. Okay. So what I'm thinking, ashes of sorrow sounds interesting. Long-term exposure to magic copper would turn humans into violent creatures and rob them of sanity. Once you're infected, there's no cure. This sounds fun. This is cool too, though. Tide of Steel. Machines took over production. I like this as well. Apparently it got recently released, but it was in early access for a year. Ashes of Sorrow. Character attributes cannot be changed. Okay. Your attack... Has, can I attach a rune to this card to improve its effect? Attacks do extra damage. Okay, that's what strength means. It makes sense. Deal 12 damage one time, all gain two strength. So you gain two strength. Okay, that makes sense. Indomitable soul. Gain one energy in the first card of combat. Okay, we got a little happy flower. No, what is it called? A lantern? Instead of spire? We got, we got something. We got something there. I can put everything in Slayer Spire. That's my bad. Uh, secret card, we have Aegis Sanction. Deal 18 damage, instantly kill enemies of under 20% HP. Or it returns to your hand if it kills an enemy. That's amazing. This is an execute that costs zero. And it returns to your hand. The hell? Execute and return to your hand if it kills. Yes, please. Power of Silence. Whoosh. Perry gains one strength for every five cards he plays in the same turn. Okay, so you're talking about shivs. We're talking about shivs. We're talking about shivs. All right, we have a lot of characters though. Wow. Excuse me, this art is um. This art is. Let me read. We have uh, okay. Deal six damage. Draw. Two times, do six damage two times, draw two cards. I like that. Two cards in multi attacks, that sounds good. Gain eight block in the first turn of combat, okay. Deal 10 damage, add two stab to your hand. Stab is a zero cost attack. Stab is like shivs, okay. If the enemy does not have block when attacked, it receives three additional damage. Excuse a lot of personality. We have blood, I'm, I'm being stupid, sorry. Okay, blood letter, deal 12 damage, apply wound equal to HP loss. Wound is like, like poison or bleed. Okay, that makes sense. Gain one energy in the first turn of combat. Deal 16 damage. If you play this, deal half the base damage for double times, up to eight times. Grace gains four block whenever she plays a card that's cost one. Oh man, there's a lot of characters. So all these characters I can play in this, in this, in, so all these are available? It's a lot of characters right off the bat. Um, wow. So, why did he show me Perry first? Was Perry is like is he like the unique hero for this land, for this environment? Let's try Perry. I like his execute. I like Perry his execute. We, so we have different classes. We have like mage, gunner, rogue, dagger dealer, and then big smash hammer guy. Let's do Perry. Chapter 1, The Fertile Plains. Okay, so the stage boss is Young Franca. Uh, we, have two, we have three camps that we can choose from. Gain two items. That sounds good. Items are good, but talents is good as well. Uh, UPS was at the door. All right, so where are we at? Uh, so we can check, select camp. We can get one talent, one opportunity rune, or three, two random items. Okay, personally, I think talents or items are the best, right? Items give you the most early game. Items give you enough, like... They give you stats so you can beat combats. I'm assuming I'm assuming there's combats, right? These items are gonna help me kill things and gain more stuff. Spark 
talent, same thing. It's like a an innate thing that we have that also makes us stronger. So this is my... I mean, I don't know how to use runes yet, so I'm not going to do runes. Runes might be good as well, but I think I'm leaning towards these two. And what does this girl say? This says... This is the boss. She has three irritated. I don't know what that is yet. She has ruthless. She gains strength. Okay. And the more HP you have, the more damage she deals. Okay. So I don't want to be too healthy. I, we'll, we'll figure that out. Let's go for two random items. I'm sure I can min-max these choices later on. Alright, so here's our layout. It's like Slay the Spire, but a little bit of a different uh, point of view. I'm assuming these question marks are events, and these are like stores. And this is like the equivalent of a fire, right? So this hammer means I can upgrade a card, I'm assuming. And I'm assuming this skull is like an elite. So here we have normal fight, normal fight, normal fight, shop, elite, shop, upgrade, shop. What that says to me is way too many shops. That's three shops in a row. That's too much. Here, I like this a little bit better because there's a little book. This book means like it might be like a talent or something. And then we get a late shop. So we have event, event, fight, event, event, a fight, elite, upgrade, something with the book, fight, and then a shop. And we can spend all our money in one go. We spend all our money in one go. So I like that. This is not bad either. We get an early shop, see what we get. And we get event, 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 elite. I'm going to go left. All right, we got an evil hobo. Eight block, 81 health. Ooh, it's pretty. Is the music too loud? Now, I'm assuming this is going to tell me if it executes, right? Yeah, the music's a little loud. Cars look nice. The game's pretty. So far, the game is pretty. Um, so, we're doing 14 damage to our face. That's cool. So he doesn't attack until I'm done with my whole card, my whole turn, huh? One, two, and let's just play it. Even though it is not the execute, we'll kill him next turn with other cards. Also, I'm not sure. Do you keep this in your hand if you? If you so let's say I end turn. Does this stay in my hand? Probably not, right? I'm too lazy to find out. Unfortunately, I have no block, so I'm just taking fourteen to the face. Oh, there's my block. That's quite. That's quite uh, nice. What does barricade mean? For each enemy that, for each enemy that has attack intent, getting plus two block. Oh, that's sick. Uh, he's trying to do a spell where he gains twenty HP and gains. So I like how they tell you everything's going on. They're basically saying, "Hey, this is what's going to happen." Vigor means I gain one HP. So I could basically stall the fight gain some, some HP back. Here we can make gold or choose a card. Well, cards are usually good, right? Or you can... Wait, 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 wait. Guys, this is, there's an interesting blue text. It says choose one card to add to the deck or replace. Now, replacing is an interesting feature. Because theoretically, I could replace my strikes and keep a deck nice and small. Which is usually OP as hell. Matter of fact, the replace feature might be so OP that I'm afraid this game's gonna get broken very quickly. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. But like, replace seems like, hey, remove and add at the same time. You're gonna break the game in a couple fights. Um, so let's replace. Deal 8 damage, put one card from the discard pile to the top of your draw pile. That sounds interesting. Because we have a thing called Sound of Silence. And Sound of Silence says, when you play me, you gain strength. But I would need other card draw with that. Make the enemy lose 3 strength for strain. So, this is like, uh, this is like Disarm. And lose 3 strength is usually a pretty strong effect. I'm kind of curious with Shadow Sound of Silence, like bringing Sound of Silence back to keep getting a strength gain. But my deck is small enough that I don't think it matters. It's also worth noting that you can skip the card reward and gain 10 gold. Uh, I don't know, I'm not sure how important Intimidation is going to be. Like, obviously, obviously, Intimidation is probably a useful effect, but I don't know how effects, uh, uh, useful it is. This is just tutorial, right? They're just telling me the options. Okay. Got it. Got it. So 
Let's replace. Strike. Actually, what if we get rid of defense? Let's replace the strike. Sick. Oh, I can also... I can claim both. <laughs> nice. You can still attach wounds after you finish punching. So you can punch or you can attach. I can't punch yet, so let's attach. No runes. Wonderful. That was a shitty event. Miscellaneous miscellaneous folktales. Predestined. On your journey, you have a nice conversation with an old man, and when you say goodbye, the old man smiles slightly and says, Fate brought us together, so let me show you the real Akim. And you choose. Remove all curse cards, transform one hero card in your deck. Wait, so hero card would be my sound of silence. And Sound of Silence is a good card, so no? Or the other hero card is the Execute, right? So this is also a shitty, a shitty event, right? Because I don't want to transform any of my hero cards? Or does it mean I can transform a Strike? It's any card. Alright, Defense turned into... I like the animation. Master! Whenever you play five cards, hero deals 20. Whoa, that's panache on crack. Yes, that's my AoE, boys. We found AoE. Panache on crack. Okay, so this guy's doing eight. All right, no problem. Let's do Sound of Silence. Attack and Sanction. Master. I'm never playing five cards in one turn, but I'm sure if I get these little things, little shivs, or these little knives, whatever they're called, we'll we'll get to that point. Asha, I kinda realize that shadow is pretty shitty. At the moment. Until I get card draw, shadow's pretty bad. But once I get card draw, shadow's great. So it's an investment. Shadow is an investment. Alright. There it is. The, okay, now we're breaking the game. So now we have Hurricane, which draws a card with Shadow. So we do Shadow and then Hurricane. And we can just like... Yes. Lose 3 HP. This is also extremely good. Because if you notice, my strikes say heal 1. So this is just lose three, but you can heal it up with three strikes. I mean, it's hard to heal, but, but that's a lot of damage. 30 damage for one is incredible. But I really want Hurricane because Hurricane and Shadow is an incredible combo. Theoretically. It never said in one turn. Oh my god, that's ridiculous. It makes the Hurricane even better because now Shadow Hurricane stuff can lead into like zero cost cards that make Master Pop. I'm doing great, Reloading. How you doing? Vengeance is incredible, but I want Hurricane. I want Hurricane. Wait, I can do more fights. Theoretically, but I'm gonna go this way. Gladiator Mudball. In the new Ark Arena, there are always dead soldiers fighting endlessly with his mud ball. And the man behind the curtain is like a manipulative puppeteer, controlling both the money of the audience and lives of the arena fighters. Uh, bye. Let me use the bathroom, I'll be right back. Alright, so we have our first large set man. Royce, he does, one, six, he does six damage one time, and he gains one strength. Or he has one strength, okay. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to strike, hurricane, I should always hurricane first, sanction, block, gorgeous, nice and straightforward so far, play master, oh yeah, so this guy's doing some damage to me, but we can bring back Aegis and win. 
If I had a hurricane, it's a different story. It's a minor flesh wound. We're going to try our first elite and see how bad it really is. Alright, GG. Gorgeous. Alright. Make a heretic. Heal 20 HP if die in this turn. An enemy marked by you as a heretic. Okay. If I kill the heretic, I heal 20 is what it's saying. So this is a one-time use exhaust card. And if I kill whatever I mark, I gain 20. I heal 20 HP. Everybody gains 12, 10 block. Reflect damage equal to opponent's attack in this turn. So if there's a big attack, I reflect it. Interesting. This says deal 18 damage plus 18 damage whenever this card is added to hand. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. Does this work with Shadow? You bought Wizard of Legend? Congrats, reloading. You're like five years late. What do you think? Um, so I use Shadow on this and then I can keep getting damage? If I make my deck small enough, can I just do like a skill attack deck? I wonder if this should be an add or a place. What do you think? Because I can't be keep getting rid of my, my strikes, right? It's like Rampage. It's like Rampage. Yeah, it's like Rampage. It's like Rampage. Wizard Legend has got a lot of great updates. Okay, I'll check out Wizard Legend. I, I really like that game. If it's like Rampage, just try replacing it. I gotta get rid of some of my defenses, though. Our, our first elite, guys. We have Rampage. So she says... She's a Psychic. Deal 10 HP to the character with the lowest HP. Deal f plus 4 for each positive effect. Gain 8 block at the end of each turn. Let's draw a card. I wish I had Master there. If I had Master, that would have been sick. To get up early, right? We got our master in. We have Sound of Silence. We have Hurricane, but I want to block. But, sk but skill attack gives me the damage immediately. So if I do skill attack now, is there immediately 36 when I first draw it? This card is incredible. Jesus Christ, 30, 39 for 2? Okay, 36 for 2. It's like a little bit better than a strike. But it has a great effect. Alright, let's see. This is rampage esque for sure, but the scaling is nice. Let me see. What is this girl saying? Apply too frail, too vulnerable. I see. Too frail, too vulnerable. I know those words. And match is about to go off soon. So we do this. Master went off. And now we have Aegis. We got a talent. Spark new talent after each person's costs increases by 11. 100. 100. Okay, let's see what card we get first before we do our talent. What, okay, what, what's more important? Seeing your talent or seeing your card? So you know what to play around. I would say talents are important to play around, so you want to see your talent before you pick a card, right? On the left side is the hero's talent tree. Talents are unique abilities outside of your deck. Different colors represent different qualities of talents. Initial, common, rare, and epic. Talents that are lit up represent learned talents. Learned, unlearned, locked. I've learned these two. Okay. Current talent sparks one. You can use one talent spark to learn one talent that is already unlocked. Learning a new talent will also unlock its adjacent talents. I love talent trees. This is my favorite part of games, is talent trees. Click on an unlock talent to check its effects. Let's click on this. This says, the first rune card is played twice every turn. Whenever your party breaks an enemy's block, you gain 5 gold. Okay, you guys know I love gold. Gain 50% extra gold from battles. Um, I do like gold. I think looting has potential to give me more, no?
50% is nice for bosses. Maybe maybe 50% ends up being more. I'm getting like 15 gold, right? So I'm getting around like 7 gold for, per fight, and then there's bosses as well. So let's do scavenging. Although, rune stiff sounds great. So let's think about this. The first rune card, what does this mean? That means a card that has a rune attached to it. That could be broken. I don't have any rune cards yet, but like, I can imagine playing a card twice is pretty strong. And it's every rune card every turn. So I could have multiple rune cards and every card that has a rune per turn plays twice. Which is incredible. All right, we're doing runesmith. What's up, Shimon Drop? I'm good. All right, now let's try to get a rune. If we get a rune, we win the game. Our deck is nice and small. We get one of these, get some runes in these cards, and GG. Sound of Silence, play it twice. That means you gain four strength. You put a rune in Sound of Silence, four strength, easy. Apply Frost Seal to a target. Seal Sack is decided by the number of enemies. Keep applying this seal to trigger the will trigger the seal upgrade. I don't know. I don't know what a frost seal does. Mark heretic and I love that. You mark them and you get 20 gold for killing them. Oh my god, wait, there's heretic. Okay. Deal eight damage five times. You gain five gold. Oh, you do eight random damage five times, but you do you gain five gold when you hit a heretic. So first you gotta mark him as a heretic, and then you can try gaining gold from them. Right now this just seems like okay, a nice way to gain some extra gold. Now I'm curious, does my talent that says fifty percent extra gold apply to this? Let's try it. Because this is exhaust, it's like it's like I just, it's like I just removed a strike from my deck. By the way, the replace mechanic is incredible, but maybe I get punished for having a small deck. We'll find out. Falling off a cliff. It's windy. You stumbled and fell off a cliff. Off of the cliff. During your fall, you grab the branch. You choose. Money 25 HP and learn one talent. Gain 50 to 100 gold. Well. I see the talent tree. On the first two turns of each combat, all of them gain pierce. Learn any talent. You can learn any talent? So I can theoretically just go down here and pick randomly. Just click this and I learn any talent. I can go all the way down here. Any mini money mo. That sounds crazy, right? But let's try it. Learn any talent. Alright, learn any talent. Does it mean does it literally mean any talent? Am I, am I, am I reading comparison low? Probably. Oh, I need the can't understand the talent tree talent. Ah, oh, I don't have that. That's true. Yeah, that's important. The hell does this mean? Learn any talent. Did I miss like a, a step along the way? Shame. I have no runes. Jeez. That's unfortunate because I actually need to add runes because that's like my talent. Alright, well, this game is not going very well. Two useless talents so far. My first multi enemy fight, which luckily I have master. Taking damage. Taking big damage. Not revealing your intentions. That's a shame, because you're dead. You're not dead. I lied. I got charred. close but I'm like I'm like half-life 
What's Quirky Turtle to help me? I, I got a talent that says choose any talent and it didn't do anything. Where's my where are my helpers when I need them? Now we're getting gold. Draw two cards if a target is a heretic. I like this. Impregnable. Gain 30 block. This card becomes zero cost when a hero is vulnerable. That's a good card. At the start of turn, apply one frost seal to the to the front row enemy. Frost seal is I'm assuming it, it like stops, stops their turn. I'm not sure. This is interesting because if, if you target a heretic, which I already have one card, I draw two cards for playing this. Which means I could do like a lot of zero cost stuff. The problem is I don't have that many zero cost cards. But theoretically this sounds nice. However, 30 block does seem pretty good because I'm I feel like I have too much attack and not enough block. I'm gonna take this. Although I think Scar Marker might be better. Alright, let's see what we got. Our first shop. Can I get some runes? Poison rune. Apply 10 poison. Banish. Blade of Slaughter. Deal 375 damage. Deal damage twice if hero's HP is lower than 40. Incredible. 150 damage if you're okay. Hero gains 2 wound. Draw 3 cards. That's interesting. Lose 3 HP. Deal 30 damage. We saw that card. Now is there any runes aside from this? Is Poison Rune is the only one? I don't like this because this says after you play this you remove this from the deck. And that is not my intention. My intention is to keep playing that card. So is this like an item where I use metal plate to gain block during a battle or one-time use? I'm assuming, yes. Hmm. Add a talent. How many cards do we have that can add runes? Because I like Rune Messenger. Because it's really good with my, my Rune Smith. Let's just buy this. I want all of them to have runes. So I just gained four runes, which is incredible. And then I also have Rune Smith. So now my deck is getting, getting somewhere. All right, let's see what runes we got. Let's get out of here. Uh, I'll buy a potion, why not? I already have a potion here, but let's buy another one. Actually, let's buy a metal plate. Alright, let's go. I'm ready. Wait, could I have gone to the left to get another... Ah, I could have. Remove a curse card, heal a party to full, or heal all. Ah, you can have a party member. So that, this, this you can have more than one character. Is that, is that what I'm seeing here? So bless is for if you have multiple people. Which I thought this was a single player thing. I gotta see what You also gain gold for discarding potions, which is interesting. Okay. I didn't even click that. I meant to click pray. Okay, whatever. It is what it is. I don't need full life. Let's see what the runes got. Let's see what I did with these runes. Block rune, cool. Energy rune. You made it cost more? The fuck? It no longer has exhaust? Wait, what? I can keep marking them to get infinite gold? Or it does not work that way. I lost exhaust, which is incredible. This is now cost one. Okay, but this is a troll. <laughs> it made this cost more. All right, sometimes you, you win some, you lose some. Wait, could I technically keep going around the map? So this plays twice. Okay, what is she doing? She's building up. Watch out next turn. Okay. I don't have any runes to turn.
Why does this cost two? Because it plays twice. So this is perfect. This is perfect. She's doing 60 damage and I have 60 block. What? How come I didn't duplicate? Can someone explain this to me? Am I getting lied to? First rune card played each turn is played twice. That had a rune on it. Unless... That's not what rune card means. Okay. But it... This thing costs one but it said two as if it was going to play it twice right in fact why does it say two if it has a room that makes it cost one where the hell is quirky to help me i don't <laughs> you threw me out in the dark i'll figure it out put three burn into the discard pile oh, that's not fun This should play twice, right? Theoretically. No. Okay, so I don't know what rune cards are then. I guess I, w I was wrong. I do not know what rune cards are. So I can keep spamming gold on her though. That's interesting. I can keep spamming gold, which is really sick. She's gonna add double hero power. Oh wow. Flames. It's a lot of damage, and I don't have impregnable. That's really bad. But I'm doing a lot of damage now. I'm also taking a lot of damage. Let's draw first, because we can draw to block. Or should I just do the damage and try to win? If I get her down low enough, I could do Aegis Sanction, right? Get her to 20%. She's doing 40. Is it better to just attack? If I attack, I can do shadow. If I get if I draw into shadow or if I draw into shadow, I win next turn. <gasps> I needed that. Shadow would have won. Alright, we still win, GG. This is good. I don't know why this is good. Because now I can do a one more Heretic Flame to gain 60 gold when I kill her. So look. Are you kidding me? Enchanting Flute was the last card? Alright, this is when the greed starts to happen, boys. Alright? So here I could just delay my kill. I could delay my kill. So that I can get 60 gold. So I can get 20 more gold. Now that's not a problem. I don't mind getting 20 more gold greed. The problem is... How does healing work in this game? Do you heal the full after every battle? We're going to find that out. And if you get potions, I might as well just use this to save life. This is... That's greed. Let's read a little bit more gold. And let's see. Beautiful. 
There's 60 gold out of that fight. That's sick. And now we get 50% more, so that's 120 gold. Incredible. Are my talents working? Let's find out what rune cards mean. Oh, that's a rune card. Okay, effect of a rune card. When played as an individual card. Alright, so that makes everything I did much worse because I made... Okay, that makes a lot of sense. Effect of a rune card when attached to another card. You can attach them to other cards. So when, when it's attached to a card, it's ethereal, which means it goes away if you don't play it. And when it's played as an individual card, it gets exhausted. Or rather, no. The top part is when it's played as individual, the bottom part is when it's attached. Okay, that makes sense. After obtaining a rune card, you can attach it to another card with a rune slot to make it more powerful. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. Choose one of three cards from the top pot. Drop out the, to your hand. If you attach this to a card, it becomes innate. If you attach this to a card, it retains. If you attach this, it becomes ethereal and exhaust. I like the idea of innate. I like the idea of innate a lot. Retain doesn't seem... So what can I retain that's useful? Anything here that says retain on it? That, that you would like if it has retain? What if I make master? No, master doesn't have a rune slot. In fact, these have rune slots, but I already wasted them. With my talent. Let's do opportunity rune. Card draw is nice. We like card draw. Okay. The Brave Blessing. Draw a zero cost card from the discard pile randomly and add it to your hand at the start of turn. That's incredible. Because I do have some zero cost cards. Gain one frost armor, deal 18 damage. Gain three soul sucker. Whenever an enemy gains a positive effect, you copy it to yourself. It also has. Okay, I'm doing Brave Blessing. What's up, Sabareth? Oh, and now we're adding people to our team. Two times damage, vulnerable and strength. Gain more thorn, force enemy to attack her, apply more poison. This girl is insane. You're welcome to the team. Damage times two, vulnerable plus strength plus. You have everything I like. Welcome. You get plus one energy each turn for each partner you own. Ah, that's how you get energy. It's coming together. Change formation. Preparing the front. Put her in the middle. Enemies are likely to attack the front. Certain cards can be strengthened in specific positions. Drag characters to change formation. For different enemies. Open settings to change formation. Enemy intents. Front deal damage to the front character. Low HP. Deals damage to whichever character with lowest HP. All does damage to all. Hero does damage to hero. Hero being me. Parry. So I like this for now. We'll change the positioning as we see fit. Chapter 2. The Gem Soil Desert. Seance. Is the... Okay. Is the effect. I must choose the form of this enemy. So this is going to be Black Moor Chief. I'm going to have to choose the form when I get there. Alright, cool. So now that we have some runes, we can go to these shops. However, I still don't have a card that has a rune slot available. Because I already filled those up. Oh, I like this. A nice top-down view. I like this. This is very cool. So the, the little hammer is actually not very useful right now. Unless I can replace runes, which would be... So I would like to re ideally replace this rune. Aegis Sanction has a rune that I don't really like. I would like to replace that if possible. Here we have a lot of books. And these books, I forget what books do again. 
Pretty old books do. But I kind of like this path. I wouldn't mind a shop. But I can do this theoretically. I can go here, 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 here. Go straight forward. And then do a shop here. If that doesn't work, I'm sorry. But I'm assuming I can go here and jump here. This is event. This is for runes. These are altars. And that is connected. So I could go here for the shop. So I like this path. Left. Elite. I can do multiple elites. Let's do multiple elites. This is a trial. Wow, this is like... Trial is very hard. So elite is like three. Trial is four. And bosses. So trial is the next hardest thing. So if I want to go the hardest route, I would go like... This way. Elite. Elite. Trial. And there's a shop here. How about we push it to the limit and see if we can handle the trial. If we lose, we lose. Let's push it to the limit. I want to see what a trial is all about. I want to try the hardest thing possible. Should this play twice, right? Theoretically. Yes, it does. So play master. This is Grace's deck. Deal 18 damage, play this card twice when Grace is at the back. So Grace wants to be in the back. If Grace is in the back, she does more damage. Oh, she's technically in the back relative to the front. Okay, that makes sense. Let's keep bringing back Enchanting Fluke, because that's how we're going to just farm gold. Tell me that isn't incredible. I can't make her block, I guess, huh? First attack, first attack card played this turn deals double damage. Let's do Enchanting Fluid again, let's get 40 gold this time. Alright, see if we can get that Enchanting Fluid one more time. Deal tw okay, draw one Grace card. Okay, I kind of technically want to... I want to stall the fight because I want to draw Enchanting Flute one more time. I want to draw Enchanting Flute one more time. So I'm going to wait. I'm not going to do anything. I want to draw Enchanting Flute one more time. Okay, this I can't afford because unfortunately... I didn't draw the the gold thing. Alright, we have another room reward, which is sick. What's up, Optimus? It's nice so far. Deal 10 damage. Two times. Deal... Okay. Apply two wound five times to random enemy. Wound does... Eh, it's too expensive. I guess dual shadow box okay. Um, how do I see what she has? I'll add spirit armor. Uh, actually, I want my deck to be as small as possible. Let's replace. I want my deck to be much smaller. Exhaust room. Choose one card to gain exhaust to the end of combat. That's pretty good. Can thin out my deck like that. It's okay. It's like a true grit. Put one card from the exhaust pot to hand. That's like a uh, exhum. What is bard? Your deck would not be shuffled this turn. Damn, there's a bard effect? You can anti-shuffle? Huh. Persevere. Blocks gained from this card would not be removed for one turn. Ah, that's pretty good as well. Persever Perseverance is pretty good for the uh, impregnable. Put one card from the exhaust pot to hand. That's... Theoretically nice. What do, what do I have that exhausts? Nothing exhausts. Except for this if I don't play it. Because this has remove exhausts. And banish is different from exhausts. So. 
Oh, and I could also access Drace's deck at any point. Interesting. Uh, I, I'm assuming Trans Moon is going to get good later on as I get more exhaust cards. But I'd rather play with what I have now. Although Perseverance does play as well with Impregnable. I just don't know how useful that actually is. But it's still the end of combat. Let's try this. I'm going to try this out. Maybe I can do like some semi-block stuff. I want to skip the shop. Unless you guys think the shop is worth it. Because I want to go here to get ev these events. Right? Event into question. I wanted some of these events. I could theoretically go all the way over here. And fight the whole damn map. The whole damn map. Um, was it released today? I don't know when it was released. I was fortunate enough to get gifted this game. Hmm. I am kind of rich. You cannot go backwards on the map. But this is fair game, right? I one way to find out. We are rich there, so I should probably consider the shop. Let's add enchanting flute. Shadow. Does 28 to low HP. So I can't even protect Grace if I wanted to? How do I protect her? I need like taunt? I need taunt to protect this girl? Oh, I just play the card on her. Duh. So let's do shadow. Into Enchanting Flute. Let's hurricane it. And just make this guy get all the gold in the world. Just play the cards in her. That makes a lot of sense. Alright, the game has been solved. We could do, theoretically do per Perseverance. On nothing. What effect is he doing? Gain three strength, apply three weak. Play this card twice when Grace is at the back. He's doing 60 damage one time. And he's applying two vulnerable. I don't know. I guess he's, I'm assuming he's attacking me. I'm assuming he's attacking me. My whole goal, my whole goal is to grind, like to greed gold. So I'm gonna keep doing flute because I want to greed gold. I should play this first. Now, what I'm curious about is like, I need perseverance. If I have perseverance, okay, let's find perseverance. Perseverance, you ready? Damn, no perseverance. Let's do more enchanting flute. We want to get all the gold in the world. Alright, we're going to get 80 gold from this fight. My god. No exhaust on this enchanting flute is ridiculous. 80 gold from this fight. I'm rich. So now I need the cards that do damage based on gold. Because I can just be a gold deck. Gain four plated armor. Draw two cards. All friendly characters gain 20 when Grace dies. I don't want Grace to die. 
Play the top card. Also, I noticed that after the boss, you heal the full, so that's very nice. Play the top card of the draw pile and draw one card. Yes, please. Yes, please. Uh, let's take a look. Radiant Moon is okay, because we can do some, like, cycling stuff, right? We can try to get some low-cost cards and play around Radiant Moon. Uh, let's take a look here. Hmm. I don't have enough zero-cost cards for this to work. It's not very good. Enchanted Flute's cool and all, but... I might just skip here, actually. I guess Grace is blessing is fine, but it feels kind of... How often is Grace gonna die? A trek in the wild. You have been wandering in this area for three days, and all you came across are terrifying beasts. You take out the parchment map again and look for the marks of the old head, uh, herald carefully. Maybe... Third damage roll is good. Okay. You're all out of strength, but you pluck up some courage to go on another search. The relics should not be far away. Find relics. Two paths appear in front of you. The one on the left says Path of the Brave, and the one on the right says Clear Path. You decide to... Accept the transfer. You've become a savage knight. Your talents have been replaced. You start each turn with zero energy. First five cards played each turn cost zero. Wow. What? So energy cost is no longer a thing? And guys, I have a question. How does it interact with my power that says draw a zero cost card from your discard pile? This is incredible. So theoretically, I can play this card. The Brave Blessing costs zero. This costs zero. And then it says, draw zero cost card from the discard randomly. Everything costs zero. Let's find out. Let's go for the double level elite into trial. When you draw cards, they are shown, they're drawn to your hand from the draw pile. After you play a card, it usually goes into the discard pile. Why are they telling me this now? When the draw pile is empty, you need to draw cards. A shuffle will be triggered. All the cards in the discard will be rearranged randomly and put back to your draw. Yes. But why are they telling me that now? Huh? She's gonna get in trouble here. Someone with a completely different faith than me. And how does faith play into this? Damn, she's taking a lot of damage. That's not good. This should cost zero. This costs zero. Congrats, Ship in a Jar. Congrats. Everything costs zero. The whole damn thing costs zero. This is zero. This is zero. So Perseverance on Impregnable. Uh... 
Oh, wait, I can't play Perseverance on her? Impregnable on her? Why can't I play Impregnable on her? Alright, do we have lethal? Do we have lethal, boys? Skilled attack into shadow, into hurricane, into shadow. So I can't use impenetrable on somebody else? Where does it say only hero can use it? It says when hero is vulnerable, it becomes cheaper. But where does it say only hero could use it? Damn, I lost her. Alright, we got 40 gold out of this. Just kidding, we're gonna get more. Oh, wait, I want more. There it is again. Alright, I want to get that card one more time. I wanted to spam gold in this guy. I got it again. I'm rich. Game for dexterity. Alright, remember, energy cost is no longer a thing. Energy cost is no longer a thing. Wait, deal one more damage for each 10 gold you have. Yes, please. Yes, please. Yes, please. Yes, please. Yes. Yes. Expedition. Expedition, dude. Expedition, dude. Expedition, dude. I'm a gold build now, baby. Alright, how much damage do we have? Look at this, look at this. Expedition, we're in an expedition deck. Let's draw. Draw. Perfect. Alright. I should do master first. Always do master first, my bad. All right, I should also play this as well because this is a, this is a free power. Always draw first. That was a free power. Oh, this guy does damage if I had damage them. Uh huh. Play this. Okay, Let's keep in mind we have, our first five cards are free. Enchanting, shadow that, bring the enchanting back, guys. We're all about gold, just a gold build. Cause look, perseverance on this, so this always stays blocked. And I don't want to do damage, cause I want to just. F okay, I'll do that. Why not? But I want to keep farming the the gold. Deal 2 damage one time equal to your max attack value this turn. I do 72 damage with this card. Enchanting Flute. Into Shadow. So now we have Enchanting Flute again. And I can just keep doing that to, to, to farm gold against this guy, right? Enchanting Flute again, 60 gold from this guy, and we have a gold deck in effect. Again, Enchanting Flute, I want 100 gold. Draw a card. Huh? 
Only geishas. Oh, damn. All right. Enchanting flute again. Into shadow again. And we chill. Enchanting flute again. Into shadow again. Are you telling me I'm going to get infinite gold into infinite damage? I can't keep doing this because my master is going to tr trigger, but enchanting flute again. Enchanting flute again. So doesn't do any damage then. <laughs> yes. Who likes gold? Does anybody like gold? Unfortunately, I have this freaking master. If I get rid of master. Gold. Gold, please. So I can just keep... Oh my god, this is broken. I just make, can, I, can I just remove a whole bunch of cards from my deck? Is anybody else getting extreme pleasure from this? Now, if he can give some sub block. Oh my goodness. Let's just keep getting gold. Our deck's done. Alright. So now, with this much damage, we can theoretically do elite. So, I have a question. Can I do this, guys? Can I go boom, 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 design oversight? Hey, welcome. I'm here, guys. Bring all your design oversights to me. First game, we're already getting infinite gold. Um... Does anybody know if we can go backwards from this point? Theoretically, I don't see why not. I don't see why I can't go this way. Because there's a little icon. So I don't see why I can't go back this way. But this is not technically not backwards. Because once I step here, I have three choices, no? So once I step here, I have three choices. And directly let's go this way, no? Is that really backwards or is that kind of like a lateral move? Or are you guys telling me for sure that that's not going to work? I want to find out because I definitely want a trial. Two choices, you must go forward. So you're going to force me to go this way. Alright, if you won't let me, then let's keep getting gold. <laughs> More gold. At some point, I gotta stop this, though. So let's, let's try to figure out which is the one you think is gonna be the one I can um, just get infinite gold on. I feel like the wait, this kind of looks like the priest and the knight. And if I know anything, I gotta, I gotta kill the knight first. And then the priest is easy. So let's kill the knight first. Let's kill the knight first. I wish I could remove Grace's cards. Grace is kind of useless.
I don't want to play master because it actually ruins my strategy. So let's play this first. Let's play this here. Let's block her. She's she's gonna die. So sure, why not? She's dead. I guess I don't need Grace. That's actually honestly better for me that Grace dies. It's better for me that Grace dies. I don't need Grace. Master is bad because it's going to ruin my infinite goal strategy. But the question is... Alright, so Expedition is currently doing 100 damage. Now, Grace has an ability that says the next card, the first card you play, the first attack, does double damage. So this does 200 damage. Which is incredible. I'm not going to play Master, though. Because... I think theoretically we're trying to get infinite gold, right? I, I, even though you guys is going to draw if you guys mad. I just want to see if I can go infinite on this fight. Because I have a feeling... I have a feeling that this girl is just going to be the easiest thing to, to, uh, to beat. No, she has strength up. That's, that's, that's dangerous. I got to get rid of this power, but... gold so i have a, a room that says i got this random room that says each card is zero energy for the first five cards it's fucking incredible the game is just getting broken basically i want more enchanting flute i should have used the thing that made this block uh, hold, hold over I should have taken the the one that gets perseverance. I would have had block for that turn. I just want to see how much damage I'm gonna do with this gold thing. No, this is this is a purple. This is a purple one. It's purple. It's considered purple. If I put Perseverance on that, I would have had uh, full block. Yeah, it's similar to SCS, exactly. Alright, so we're getting 160 gold so far. I want to make sure that my thing does like 3,000 3, damage. This is my love letter to the developers. This is my love letter to the developers. First game and we're getting rich. Expedition is going to be crazy. Alright, let's kill now. Alright? Actually, I can block. <laughs> Enchanting Flute, Shadow, and uh, Impregnable. We can block. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Enchanting, Shadow, Enchanting, Hurricane, Enchanting. Alright, we're making 220 gold off of this person alone. Does that count with my, uh... Oh, I didn't take the one that gives me 50% gold. Imagine if I did. Imagine if I took the one with the 50% extra gold. I would, I would have thousands of gold right now. Hey, right, what's wrong with me? I missed my opportunity. Alright. We could kill, or we could just take 5 damage to keep going. All right, I know this is extremely boring to watch. I'm sorry. No more. This is, I'll, I'll end the fight now. This is this must be not fun to watch at all. 
But you gotta admit. Ah, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Let's go. 340 gold is perfectly fine. I'm happy with that. Okay. Uh, op opportunity rune is pretty good. Gaining one energy. That doesn't really do anything. Technically, this allows me to play a 6 card. But I don't need to gain a 6 card. Opportunity rune is not bad. It allows me to get the perfect hand. Okay, I'll add it to the deck. It banishes itself. Although, no, that actually ruins your 5 energy thing. But it makes it so that I have... Good opening hands. All friendly characters gain 10 strength if one grace dies. All strike becomes zero for a turn. Activate bloodthirsty. Heroes bloodthirsty plus 100% for every H. Okay, let's skip all this. Our deck's done, right? And you guys are saying that I can't go that route that I wanted to, so let's go this way. I'm starting to think that I could have gone to the left. Let me show you an example of why. So right now on the map, we're right here. Oh, you're right. Never mind. You're right. Okay, let's play St. Rock Gorley. Guys, look at this. The first attack played each turn does double damage. You guys ready? 272 damage. Keck. W. I guess we have enough gold to basically win the game already. So let's go ahead and do that. Expedition. Expedition. And let's win. 282. It's just released. I, I, I don't know when it released. I, I'm assuming yes. Hero gains one St. Rock power. At the end of turn, gain strength. You go to stack. Um, I'll tell you what. Molotov is better than... We're never using Dexterity, right? Let's look at this. We're not using Dexterity. Alright. We can just keep skipping everything, right? I'm assuming we're just... We just, we just won the game, though, because we have a card that does... It's like a nuke. An alchemist of Oath to Blaze walks up to you and asks if you need a trade. Deals 15 damage. If this kills a non-enemy minion, gain 15 gold. Like, that's kind of cool, right? It's telling me, give me gold. But we already have infinite gold card. So this is just not good. Okay, the only reason this would be good is if, since it's a rare, I could turn it in for, like, some bonus effects. Like, imagine this is Slave Aspire. I turn this in for max HP. I don't know if this game has that, so there's no point in me taking this. Which, why this... Okay, this is kind of lame. Excuse my critique here, but... When you do this to the game, let's see, when you have a card that does infinite damage and your deck is small, your decision points are basically, how does this make me draw my best card? And, um, okay, does this help me not die? And then it's like, I don't know, there's like not many decision points at this point, which is sort of my fault for, for taking advantage of this. Um... Uh, uh, let's see here. My opening hand is pretty trash, actually. Opportunity room is not that great. Enchanting flute. Let's do impregnable. We don't need grace, right? Grace is just, is just holding me back. Maybe the enemies get a lot harder. Maybe, but... 
I'm pretty sure I'm breaking the game in terms of gold generation. Pretty sure I'm breaking the game. Like, I don't know if the enemies are going to scale as much as what I'm doing right now. Alright, I need to get the break busting out quicker. Next time. I'm enjoying it. I only have, like, what? How long have I been playing this? Like, an hour? So I can't give you definitive um, answer yet. Uh, I don't want to be taking damage, unfortunately. That's not good. But we can full heal. I can just full heal and let Grace die. We don't care about Grace. Look at this. Expedition. Although Grace has a good power. Her power that doubles damage is, like, useful. So all I need is to, for Grace to give me her power, and then she can die. No problem. So just play her power and then she can die. Enchanting flute. And expedition. And now we're only beginning more and more talents, more and more cards. It's just gonna get better and better. Apply weak and vulnerable. Hero gains two wounds, draw three cards. The skull on okay. Let's skip all this. Talent sparks. All right, let's see. Wait, what if we do gold again? Go back for the gold. Oh wait, we get regeneration. So that's kind of nice. Just get healing. No, I don't need more gold. We're good. For every three soul cards you play, in the deal twelve damage. At the start of your turn, draw one extra card if the hero has less than forty percent. That's pretty good. I think drawing an extra card is pretty good because all our cards are free. So anything that says card draw, I'm, I like. I like a lot. That's really good. Put one card from the exhaust pile to hand. Block is not removed for one turn. That's kind of useful. There are some turns where I draw my impregnable and I want to make sure that that's not removed. But I don't like... Like, I want to put this onto cards, alright? I have a question. Can I, re can I replace a rune that's already on a card? Because I would love to replace this rune with in, with this. Like if I can replace this rune with um, Stonewall, I'm in great shape. Because this right now has an energy rune randomly that is completely useless because everything's free. So should we just find out if we can replace runes? Take a shot in the dark? Because right now I don't really want to take any runes because they're bloating my deck. But if I can replace a rune, then it's fine. Let's try it. Let's see if we can replace a rune. If not, I have all these random ass runes. Let's try it. Welcome back, Grace. Yeah, I have all these random ass runes. I should kill this. Putting a daze. No one likes dazes. No one likes dazes. Ability to remove runes? Maybe. Here's hoping. I really don't appreciate that I didn't kill this guy because now I'm taking 60 to the face. I really don't appreciate how I played this game actually. Because I could have just killed this guy, this would never be an issue. Instead, now I'm suffering the wrath of 16 to the face that I can't handle. That's messed up.
Beautiful. Okay. We got thorns. We gotta choose a card. Lose HP, gain gold, more gold. Easy. Alright, it's time to find out. Come on, Mr. Rude Man. Stonewall will be sick. We have expedition. Who wants to die? I can kill this so this because this is doing damage to all, right? And doing damage to all is kind of lame. Because I don't want Grace to die. Bye. Chanting flute. Shadow. Draw. So you guys want to keep getting gold or just keep killing this? Just kill this guy. Because I can expedition and kill him next turn or just keep getting gold. I guess at what point do we say we're happy with our damage? When it just one-shots everything? But I think we're at that point already, right? Because I could do expedition and keep moving on. Just see what the, see what the content the game has, you know? Let's just expedition and move on. Unless... Game plated armor, draw two cards. Remember, anything that's anything that's expensive plays for free. Card draw is usually pretty decent. Right, let's see what this guy says. Attach. So if here you can previously affected the rule. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Um, so let's do stone wall. Hover your cursor over the anvil on the right. Okay. To preview the card effects. Cool. Here you can prove the effect with the root attached. Select a card. Okay, cool. Let's take this and let's take impregnable. Yeah, perfect. 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 Replaced. Easy. I gotta do it. I gotta do it three more times. Can I keep it? Wait, can I keep attaching? I can keep attaching. I can make this card innate. Oh my god, expedition's innate. And I can make Saint Rock Glory innate too? Oh, GG. GG. St. Rock Glory, double damage, and eight. Gl uh, it, it, it game's over. This is an eight. And now, this is an eight. So I have a one-shot combo innate every turn. And then this would mean game perseverance. Alright, let's make let's make our other block. We have one more block. Let's, what's our other block? Okay, I, okay, I need to find another block card so I can use this. I need a block card that's really good and I can just put this on this. And it's going to make it so that it perseveres. I don't have a block card yet. All right, so we have 400 damage at the opening hand every turn. See, you see this boss? You see this elite? Saint Rock Glory. Three or thirty-six. All right, so I was wrong. I need to get more gold because if I farmed more gold. This guy would be one shot, but now he's not one shot, and that's problematic. Here I was like, oh, I shouldn't, I shouldn't do anything. All right. It's fine. Bye-bye. 
I forgot to use enchanting flu. Whatever. At least over. <laughs> oh goodness gracious. Oh my goodness. Alright, I missed 20 gold, but whatever. Gain bulletproof. Prevent the next HP loss. That's pretty good, right? Anything that says bulletproof might be a worthwhile pick. Just prevent HP loss. Seems like a good effect. Am I wrong? Like, bulletproof might be better than defense card. Alright, uh, let's do another talent. During battle, click status bar to consume gold and draw cards. What? I could use my infinite gold to draw cards? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, how much gold are we talking here? How much gold does it consume to draw? That's kind of crazy. When a hero dies, sacrifice your partner and resurrect hero. That's really good. Let's say theoretically I die because I can't handle something. Sacrifice grace. That's really good. Because grace is useless. Gate. This makes thing this makes it lose exhaust, but we don't need any more lose exhaust, so we're good. We're good, we're gonna skip. We're good, we don't need any ruins. Our deck is perfect. Alright, time to do the trial. Uh, so we want to heal my guy to full, right? But by him being low HP, by him being low HP, I get an extra card draw, no? Because of Blood Curse? I'll just heal everybody. Whatever. Grace can stick around for a little bit. Time for my first trial. Let's see how this goes. Challenge. Artifacts. Transport to any tile on the map, trigger trial events, and then get back to the original tile. That's incredible. Uh, I want to do the challenge. This is a joke, right? This is a joke, right? They're joking, right? Special cards. Okay. Um, let's kill him. For each 40 block gain, gain one random power card. For each one card draw, gain three block. So why is it still in Chinese right here? Is this an error? For each three cards played. Okay, let's do for each 40 block. Let's do that. Because that has the thing. Does bulletproof? I got another St. Rock Glory? I have two St. Rock Glory. What does that mean? A stream pause? What do you mean? I need more block. More block in my life. I'm gonna farm gold out of you because you, my friends. For each one exhaust card played, hero gains. So, does that count when I use my enchanting flute?
does that count when I use my enchanting flute? Because my enchanting flute technically has exhaust, but the exhaust doesn't trigger. So if I keep spamming that, I just get. Can we? Let's test it. Let's test it. Let's see if it works with enchanting flute. Because if it works with enchanting flute, then it's a wrap. Oh, this guy looks menacing, right? He looks menacing, but I do 537 damage. It does give me positive effects. Let's bring that back. Oh! <laughs> For each time the enemies damage by wound, draw one card. I did take a break, yes, I did take a break. Reduce enemy strength by one. Oh yeah, give me all the things. I want to play this, let me play it. Look how many buffs I have, this is incredible. Oh, you're cute, you're really, really cute. Let me do this first, and let me kill you. Oh, I can heal. For each positive effect that I have, I gain one stack for negative effect on the enemy. Well, that's incredible. I can make the enemy just get full of negative effects. But wouldn't you guys want to heal as well? Nah, who needs to heal? Gain three Wrath Aura. What does that do? What is Wrath Aura? Oh, everybody gains equal strength. Okay, beautiful. Gorgeous. Okay, the only problem here is I, I drew my, my expedition. I need that. Oh, this guy's strong. This guy is actually strong. Ooh. He's bleeding. I want to draw a card first. Order. Expedition. Look at the expedition. It's here. Ooh. So that was my first trial and we did it. Beautiful. So we get an item. We get a portal ring that says, transfer to any tile on the map, trigger tile events, and go back to the original tile. So we can just keep getting whatever event we want, every little elite we want to just keep farming, and it, after five tiles, we could use it again. Yes, yeah, limit is. When hero's HP falls below 20%, attacks deal damage. Oh my god. That's incredible, because I have a card that does thousands. When that turns into effects. Is that worth putting into my deck? I'm never going to be 20%, right? Like, theoretically, if I'm at 20%, yes, I like this, but I don't think I'm going to get to 20%, so I'm going to skip. And you're telling me I can't go to the left for the shop? Oof. All right, guys, so we do our St. Rocks. Our expedition does one shot. Uh-huh, we bring back the uh, expedition to kill this guy next turn. And right now we want to just take Bulletproof, right? So that we don't die. And there's the expedition. But wouldn't you guys... Wouldn't you guys like... To get Heretic first. To get more gold. Nah, you guys want to progress. I understand. And I can't take the shop. Unforge. Okay. No worries. So we can heal again. Why not? Heal everybody. Boss time. Alright, let's see if this boss can handle our big smackies. Attack, 20%. Okay, this is... Oh, I'm choosing what he does. Uh-huh. Oh, I could use the ring to go to the shop. You're right. 
I have this ring, I'm not using it. I could have used that ring to steal an elite as well. Can I go back, please? I could use this ring to farm elites. Oh well. Let's give this guy less max HP. So that we can kill him. Saint Rocks. Oh, GG. Lethal two turns. Oh yeah, I have lethal right now. Look, 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 look. Okay, it's not lethal, but it's close. Shadow. Hurricane. Okay. I just first turned the boss. Yes. Yes, I like that. I theoretically I could have used the ring to get even more gold, to get even more elites. Okay, very nice. Um, but this is a... Draw a card. Draw a card. This rune just says draw a card. Use all energy to do damage equal to the number of... Okay, no. No. <laughs> okay, but you see how this is messed up? Because none of these cards mean anything to me. This gives me plus draw? Sure. You give me draw? Yes, this is perfect. You're welcome to the team. Welcome to the team. Welcome to the team, Karma Twin. Chapter 3, The Nightfall Swamp. All right, so let's use our ring up right away. Here, the stage boss is going to be Musa Bailey. Um, Blade Burn. You lose HP each time you play a card. Audacity. Heal HP each time you draw cards. But none of this... Okay, three disease. This Three disease. Let's keep this in mind because for the games... So first off, let's go ahead and kill this elite. Let's kill this elite. All right, let's kill this elite. Saint Rocks. Into Expedition. Um, unfortunately, I can't do Pregnant Bow on her, so she's going to take a lot of damage. Oh, she changes her forms. Got it. Alright, cool. So she has free block for the next turn. I have free block for the next turn. And now he's got to do... Front row blocks 50... Front row blocks 50... Jesus. She, this girl's perfect. She gives me 50 blocks sometimes to keep me alive. So she sacrifices herself to give me 50 block, which is perfect. And she also gives me card draw. She's the best support character I could ask for. Her name's Karma. It makes sense. Because we know Karma's an incredible... H, uh, so give you bulletproof. Only works for heroes. Okay, that's good to know. Let's attack you. Okay, but this is kind of unfortunate because she's gonna practically kill Karma, and I can't do anything about it. She's gonna kill Karma and I can't do anything about it. I guess actually it doesn't kill Karma, that's fine. Alright, uh, we wanna draw back our card that says kill. And let's just do damage now. I don't want to draw. I do not want to draw. I do not want to draw because next turn is kill. So we don't want to draw. Because next turn we kill. GG. Alright. So we got that lead out of the way. Karma almost died, but we got a free talent, essentially. It wasn't free, but you know what I mean. For each rune card you play, you gain one random item. That's interesting. Starting from the fourth turn, add one rune card to your hand each turn. I don't like that at all. I'll watch some of these, maybe. Like, gain pierce. Like Pierce might be useful. Cool. 
Karma, draw two cards, exhaust. Kill all heretic with HP lower than yourself. Alright, so now we go back. Can I keep doing that elite indefinitely? Alright, let's take a look at where we want to go. So it didn't actually take away the elite. So the elite can still be taken care of. And we want to find more trials. So where are the trials? There are no trials on this map. Okay. So let's try to do all the elites then. Let's try to do all the elites. Alright. I should probably go to the shop because the shop gives me a... Uh, a talent, right? And talents are pretty decent. Alright, this is my biggest nightmare is multi-enemy fights. Like AoE I'm not very good at. As you guys can tell. Oh, they're resurrecting. Wait, they're AoE and they're resurrecting? <laughs> what? Uh, AoE and they're resurrecting. I don't like the sound of that. This is the worst fight for me. Imagine I have this Searing Blow deck. Alright, GG. That could have been bad. That could have been bad. Is there any deck card that exhausts from my deck that I don't want to exhaust? Let's take a look. Nothing. Nothing at all. Are there any cards that do anything else that w regarding gold? Because I have a lot of gold. I guess thorns is a really good effect because there might be like multi-attack stuff. So thorns is a decent effect. That's an event into a rune. Now I have a question. My rune says persevere. I don't have any card that says pers uh, rune slots for persevere, right? Um, so that's not good just yet. But I think I'd rather have the event. Than the monster. Event versus monster. That's a lot of runes though. Let's go here. Let's see what we get here. An old cave blocks your path. This damn... Or in mountains, you swore frustrated, but you walk in with resignation. Obtain one rune card. Obtain one item. Why well, can't I kill the spider? As you enter the cave, you see an exit above you, but there's a tainted giant spider blocking the way. What do you do? I need an item slot? Oh, I guess. One rune card. Um... Ah, uh, kill the spider then. What do I get out of it? Ah, oh, not bad. Uh, I think Thorns is useful because there might be some multi tech stuff that I need to take care of. In the battle, you got lightly wounded, and the moment the spider fell, it turned into powder. You got the spider's kernel, but saw the way out of the spider blocked. I need to stall. My point is to stall because if I stall... HELL NO! Why can't I apply? This says, this says gain 222 gold. Why can't I apply? You come to a New York City's most famous circus in Bago. The price list is posted in front of the tent. A bag of gold coins to watch the most spectacular doppelganger performance. There's also a line of small words below. One of our performers had a family emergency and now a substitute actor is needed. Alright, so here's the thing. 
Choose one attack, add one copy to your hand next turn. Oh, you need to have the card called Extension in order to do this. That's unfortunate. Was extension offered to me at any point? Oh, this could get perseverance. That's really good. That's really fucking good. 50 block that's persevered. Yes, sir. Oh, and our deck's got so much cleaner. All right, so now we have our thing. So we're going to do this again. I'm going to fight another elite, all right? Now, I have a question. Is this perspective or is this elite bigger? Because this elite has a big-ass skull, but I'm assuming it's just perspective. Let's see what it's all about. Mr. Lee Evans, alienate partners. All your partners change into state cards. Well, sir. St. Rock Glory. Expedition. Brave Blessing. Shadow. Give me Expedition back and you're going to die next turn. You're dead next turn, sir. First, let me get some gold out of you. Wait, I want more gold out of you. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do Shadow. I have how many cards left? Three. One. Two. Three. Thank you. 2,000 gold. Very much. Bye. And more talents. Okay, so we like... We got we got some... These old talents are pretty good. Like Some of these old talents are pretty good. Uh, let's take a look. You can use gold to draw cards. Which is intriguing. Because let me explain a scenario. Let's, let's explain, explain a scenario. We're in a scenario where we're trying to kill the boss, right? And we need to draw that our one shot one more time. But it's like two cards deep. So theoretically, I can draw, spend some gold, draw the two cards, and win the fight. And that could save me. Is that how that works? Can I just keep spending gold to draw cards? Because this feels like a useful thing to do or have in a pinch. Ideally, I don't want to do it, but I like having the option. And what are the other ones? These are all trash. This gives you gold. So this gives you gold, 10 gold per time. So these items basically read, oh, you gain 10 gold, 10 gold, 10 gold, 10 gold. So this, this is a good, this is a gold generation. This is, gets you out of a pinch. All right, next elite. What does this thing do again? Oh, heals. Next elite. We're gonna get a lot of elites this fight, this round. St. Rod Glory, what is this thing doing? Call for reinforcements. Okay, that's scary. I don't like the sound of that. I don't like the sound of that at all. Uh, more talents so now this says brew cards will not get banished instead they enter the discard pile you can disable this your team will lo no longer be frail uh this just gives me gold 10 gold per per fight so can i use miser with this to infinitely heal i can spend all my gold to get this I can use this to get gold. Let's use this to get gold.
This removes... Uh, I want to stall as much as possible, so if I go here, I stall, right? The, the, the point is to stall. Is this the last act, by the way, or is there one more act? Ouch. These guys are kicking my ass. I don't actually, I'm not actually playing rune cards though, because I don't have them. I could have killed this guy, that was my bad. Could have farmed gold, but I don't care. I'm pretty golded up. So if I do this, draw one card, I gain 10 gold if I use it. Eh, I'd rather just get the 10 gold now. This rune is just there to open up other things, I guess. But in two turns, we have Elite again. Alright, we have a fat dragon called Mega Mouth Lizard. For each point of damage, lose one strength this turn, restore loss of strength. Okay, cool. We could also do Blood... Sh okay, so we might actually need to block this turn. Unless... This draws one Grace card. Okay. It draws one grace card. That sucks. Uh, okay, but I can use blood shelter and impregnable. We're good. So let's do this. Wait, what? Oh, <laughs> I just wasted that. Wait, she doesn't take any damage. This guy has the, uh, whatever much damage you do, it makes him take less effect, which is cool, which is very cool, very, very cool. I could be doing some more gold, but I'm not going to be too greedy. Alright, one more turn, we can get one more elite. Lose a random hero skill card. Lose a random hero power card. Lose a random hero attack. Let's lose a random skill. But do we want to lose a random skill? Let's read about this. Copper Doll. After the rise of the magic copper mine in the wealthy circles, the trend of carving, polishing, and assembling different colored magic copper into a collection of dolls became popular. Famous heroes, cultural cities, and even legendary creatures into the, in the mecha continent were all molded and carefully represented into exquisite little dolls. However, the magic copper silently tainted these people. Ah, the tale is all the time. Messing around with things and getting tainted. So if I lose a random skill... What skill could I lose? It can make me lose Enchanting Flume, my Impregnable, my Spirit Armor, or my Salvation. One in four to lose one of these cards. And I gotta say, I don't want to lose Impregnable. I don't want to lose Enchanting Flume. Now, if I, can't, if I lose a random attack, now, theoretically, I wouldn't mind losing a random attack. But if it hits my gold card, we lose the game on the spot. So now I have a question. Does this game care whether or not you have innate cards with runes? Like, let's say you have bottled lightning, bottled flame inside this power. You can't lose those cards. I'm assuming this game is different. Uh, if I lose a random power, what power do I have? The Brave Blessing, which is not bad. Or Master. Okay, I wouldn't mind losing Master. The 50% chance to lose Master. Master is can be, can be gone. Like, I would not mind for Master to be gone. 
The Brave Blessing I actually like a lot. But I wouldn't mind losing that either. I wouldn't mind losing that either. Although Brave Blessing is pretty sick. Master is can, can go. Master can leave. Who wants to do the 50% chance? The one in four? Impractable is pretty good. I'm, I'm okay with losing these two cards. Alright. 50%. Let's go. Uh, but why? Alright. We have another ring effect. Do you guys want to go to the shop? Or just keep doing elites? A shop gives me a talent. Let's do elite. Alright, we lost one of our best powers. This is free because she doesn't take any damage. Karma's card sucks though. She has like these random ass cards I don't like. Because. Have infinite block. I have infinite block. More talents. All right, so this says when enemy dies, all family characters game. Um, perfect. That's fucking glorious. Yes, give me all the good talents. All right, we're about to win the game, boys. Let's let's go ahead and get out of here. We have our sick runes. About to get another elite for another talent. Our talent, our talent tree is about to look amazing. Our talent tree is about to look amazing. I would have had an extra talent if I used the ring last game, but I forgot. Alright, expedition on this guy. Let's go ahead and just gain that, gain that, gain that. Gorgeous. Give up. Give up. What happens when I got the thing that says block for all? Wouldn't that be sick right now? Wouldn't that be sick right about now? Talentry is looking fantastic. Any of these? She just gives you more defense, which is not bad. Alright. So now we gotta make sure to do one more leap before with this ring. We're gonna max out the talent tree. She's gonna die very quickly. Oh, I have lethal. One, 
two, beep. All right, now we're getting at the start of turn, change the random skill in your hand to zero cost for the next time. That's horrible. When you learn this talent, you automatically learn the adjacent talents. You can't get what? It's horrible. What? That's horrible. These are horrible. No longer be frail. I guess. Oh, Rune Master is fucking incredible. Okay, what what attacks do I have that are runes? This is runes. Oh my god, Rune Master is incredible. Skip. I need that ASAP. Play the minigame. At the time of Mecha Continent's third mass migration, Bush Sutter. I got you, big boy. Come here. Come here, big boy. What does this thing say? Bush Sutter, the Great Rock, found stars in the sky actually falling to earth in the riverbeds of the Orin Mountains. Uh, let's play the minigame. I don't want any of these, though. Can I skip these? I actually don't want these. I don't want these. That would have been sick if I had energy, but... Wait, is this retain rune? Alright. No problem. At least we know what that event is. Okay. Let's attach. No runes in my deck. Again. Guys, this Rune Master talent is incredible. I can no longer get frozen, so this is just bulletproof. It's simply just bulletproof. Alright, so now we get this thing called the Rune Master that plays the next rune attack twice. Anything that says like save life, no. Here it is. The first rune attack we played twice. Yes. Yes. That is huge. So this plays twice, huh? Okay, sick. And everything goes down to one because when you kill an enemy, you get phantom, which is sick. AKA phantom reads as like intangible. Bye. Ready? All right. I should have stalled. I should have meant longer, but maybe to stall. So maybe I went here. I stalled longer for the the ring. I'm not sure. Let's bless everybody. Everybody deserves a little blessing. I'm not sure if this is the final boss or not. But I do know I'd go first and I do a shit ton of damage. Wait, I have lethal. Well tell me I'm gonna one shot both bosses. Oh no, the second attack doesn't do as much. Okay, so it's not a one shot, but it's a uh, two shot. That's it. <laughs> GG. Okay.
My night career has le a race to level one. New class and secret cards unlocked. Lose 30 gold. Next attack card play will be this will be played twice. Choose an enemy if it attack if it has attack intent. Deal twice as much. Okay, cool. And that's it, boys. Our first game three. There's, so there's three acts, and we basically one shot both to the last two act bosses. So this was kind of a broken run. But I'm assuming because of this game, the way you can replace cards to add cards, you can break the game very easily. Um, my first one was broken. I'm assuming. There's other broken combos you can find. Because the idea of replacing cards is in deck builders is extremely OP. I'm curious to see how they balance around that. Because, uh, yeah, you guys can see how that ends up. I also got Perry's story mode, which is pretty cool. Pretty sick. Pretty, pretty sick. Alright guys, not bad. Hope you guys enjoyed it. That was my first look at the game this is the beginning of his story fame and money seemed not that important there was only one thing in his mind at the time to find his little brother who had run away from home it's very sweet and there's a whole story and i guess there's a whole thing of ta this is what is this this is like totally different as well story mode with okay we'll, we'll start this off another day so I, that was on hard mode that was the game on hard mode. To be fair, I did kind of break the game with a loophole of gold. But there's a thing that said night level 1. So what that means, I'm assuming, is there's going to be ascension, right? Is there ascension? We're going to have to find out. Ah, I didn't want to read right now. Uh, we'll leave this for another day. Alright, boys. That was my first look. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you think. Um, did I get lucky and break the game? Or if you guys have found your own little broken things. There's a lot of cards I haven't unlocked though. Classes that I haven't played. Heroes I haven't. I mean, there's a lot to this game. Alright. There's a lot of different heroes. A lot of different characters. I felt at some point I was just skipping everything. So it was no longer as comprehensive. Or interesting rather. There's a lot of cards I haven't found, though. I mean, I haven't tried any of these classes. The talents were really cool. I like the talent tree. Uh, the room match was incredible. I mean, the talent tree felt really cool. Like, Radical Change is a common talent, but that's a like, really strong early game. Incredible stuff. Scavenging would... Scavenging you get really early. If I would've got Scavenging early, I would've... I would've been ridiculous. And there's all these informations about the heroes and the creatures. Very nice. All right, boys. I'm out of here.